start spreading the news. He's leaving today. <laughs> he wants to be a part of it. New York, New York. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Remind the honorable members that singing is not allowed. Whether it's good or bad, it's not allowed. These are small time blues. They're melting away. I'll make a new start of it in old New York. Mr. Speaker, I can't sing very well, but at least I pay for my hotel rooms. Will he pay for his hotel costs when he goes to New York tonight? The right honorable prime minister. Mr. Speaker, over the past number of years, we've spent time uh, across the world promoting Canada, promoting Canadian workers. Uh, we've been talking about the leadership on environmental responsibility, the reconciliation with Indigenous people. I, I'm going to have to interrupt the Honourable, uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition's got everyone excited. I just want everybody to calm down, take a deep breath, and listen to the answer, please. The Right Honourable Prime Minister from the top, so we can all hear the answer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Over the past number of years, as uh, Canadians know, we've been talking about what we've been doing here in Canada, singing the praises, quite literally, of Canadian, uh, Canadian workers, uh, of Canadian companies, of Canadian know-how. As we lead on fight against climate change, as we step up on Indigenous reconciliation, as we invest in the middle class uh, with measures like dental care and cuts to the cuts to the middle class taxes that the Conservatives voted against and that has led to companies like Volkswagen uh, like Michelin uh, like others investing in Canada because they see what we're doing we will continue to promote Canada and Canadian workers right across the country